They plan to shut down Bangkok. These anti-government protesters claim Prime Minister Ying Luk Shinawat is presiding over a corrupt government and that she's merely a puppet for her brother, former Prime Minister Taksin Shinawat, ousted in a coup in 2006 amid corruption charges. Over the last few days, this area has sprung up into a tent city. Thousands of people from across Thailand, but mainly from the south, have come to protest against the government. This government, is, there are a lot of corruption. It's like they sell our country. But outside of central Bangkok, it's a different picture. Nid Sanam Luang has been a civil servant for most of her life. At 75, she's seen much of Thailand's tumultuous political past. She supports the current government. So much so, she tells me she's willing to lay down her life to see Taksin Shinawat back as Prime Minister. These people live in the suburbs of Bangkok. They're heading to their local city hall to show their support for the government. They're not going into the city centre to avoid clashes with anti-government protesters. The Per Thai party in government has its stronghold in the north. Lower income groups say the party has policies that improve their standard of living. He says Taksin created the universal health care system because because of that, my cousin only paid $6 for heart surgery. Without it, the operation would have cost more than $4,000. It saved his life. But Taksin was charged with abusing his power and sentenced to two years in jail in absentia. He's living in self-imposed exile. The current wave of protest was triggered by an amnesty bill proposed by the current government that could have opened the way for his return. Outraged protesters took to the streets in November. The Prime Minister responded by calling an election for February 2nd, but that hasn't satisfied them. It's not, not simple that we leave our house, our home, and come to stay here, which is, is not normal. If you can look around, there are a lot of people from different uh, provinces, and they have the same thing. There's a carnival atmosphere in the build-up to the protest. Business is very good because of movement gearing up for the protest, this stallholder tells me. The special shutdown t-shirts are selling well. Good business for some, but not the case for most retailers in the capital. This is peak season for tourism and retailers. The protesters have vowed to bring the capital to a standstill. Bangkok is on high alert. Simon Morrison, CNN, Bangkok, Thailand.